Blessings, everybody. Blessings and welcome to I Want to See You Wins Wednesday night Bible study where we literally walk through the word of God. Walk with us tonight. Amen. I am one of the leaders at I Want to See You Win Ministries, Prophet Sharonda Mims. I do give honor to God who is the head of my life. Amen. To my apostle. Amen. To my pastor. To my husband. Amen. And to all the ministers. Amen. Uh, that are uh, part of this ministry and those that amen come on the ministry and they uh come to be a part and participate amen and we just want to tell you that we love you and you appreciate it on tonight and thank you amen for get uh taking time out of your business busy schedule amen to get on tonight we're coming from joshua the 21st chapter amen and it's talking about the promises god gave to israel his children of Israel. Amen. And we're going to go through the word of God tonight. I'm going to say that I have a, quite a few verses here um, from one through, let's see. I can't remember. It was, I know it was 40 something. Okay. Um, um, through 45, one through 45. Amen. I'm not going to, I'm probably going to he- read a little bit here, a little bit there, but I, uh, of the word of God, but I pray you guys have took out time to read the word of God Uh, for yourself amen as we know amen we come together on wednesdays amen to go back over but we already should have taken out time amen out of our busy schedules amen to um uh to read amen every week amen so we know next week we'll be on 22 so go ahead during the week little read a few verses here a few verses there amen and go over the 22nd chapter so that when we come together on um next week, then you'll be able to go along with us. Amen. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you tonight. We praise you. We glorify you. We magnify you because you are God. And Father, we ask you in the name of Jesus, God, that you will let words of my mouth and meditation of of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. For Father, truly you are my redeemer. I pray, Father, in the name of Jesus, that you bind up technical difficulties, bind the work of Satan that would even think up to stick up his ugly head tonight. I pray that Spirit of God will begin to flow and move like never before, Father, that you would have your divine will and your divine way, Father, in the mighty and matchless name of Jesus. If there is any sin among us, I pray, God, tonight that you would forgive us and that you would hide us, God, hallelujah, behind the cross, that they don't see us, but they will see you, Father. And Father, I pray, Father, that the word of God fall today on good ground, Father God, and that it would bring forth the harvest, God, to the hearers, Father God. I thank you, Lord, for giving your people strength, hallelujah, for your word, Father. And Lord, we give you glory, honor, and praise. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. I pray you all have um, have uh, shared. If you have not shared, this your opportunity to do the work of the evangelist. Amen. And go ahead and share because sharing is caring. Somebody is in need of this hope. Somebody in need of this word. Amen. I thought it was a very encouraging word to let us know that God, you know, God made promises um, to Israel. Amen. Glory to God. And, and, and those promises, amen, as we begin to read, you'll find that they didn't fall to the ground. Amen. That wasn't promises just that he spoke. Amen. That did not come to pass, but it surely came to pass. And we're going to talk about that on tonight. Amen. So do us a favor and go ahead and share. Excuse me. Um, tonight, again, we're starting at the first verse, but before we go there, let, let me tell you what a promise is. Promise is a noun, right? It's a declaration that something will, it doesn't say might, it says will or will not be done, given, etc. by one. Okay? Promise is an expressive assurance on which expectation is to be based. Okay, that is what a, that's promises. Okay? So it's a declaration that something will or will not uh, be done or come to pass or be given. Amen. We learned, amen, that God gave uh, God gave promises, amen, to the children of Israel. He gave promises to them. Amen. How many of y'all know, amen, that, amen, that God is a promise keeper? Amen. All we have to do is do our part, saints of God. God said that we'd be willing and obedient, that we would eat the good of the land. Amen. God is a promise keeper, and it might not seem Amen. Like it's going to come to pass, but I'm telling you, it surely will come to pass if we wait. Amen. He tells, don't get grow weary in your way and your well doing. The Bible said that you shall reap if you don't give up. And a lot of us, you know, we give up and God be right there at the point where he's getting ready to bless us. Okay. Um, what is the a promise uh, land that God, I mean, what was the promise that God a promise to children of Israel was the land we have learned. And I think we started at um, 19 store talking about the land or 
um, that he was distributing to um, the different tribes, right? The 12 tribes. And um, that was a promise way back when. And we're going to kind of read a little bit about that. There is probably no uh, more, let me tell you this, disputed real estate on earth than the land of Israel. Okay. If you did not know that, that's the most um, disputed. It's like an argument uh, about the land of Israel. Even calling it Israel will raise objections from some quarters. The Jewish people by claim to the land, lay claim, excuse me, of the land because they first held possession of it of it uh, millennia ago and because God directly gave them the land as recorded in the Bible. In Genesis 12 and 7, God promised Abraham who had arrived in Canaan to your offspring, I will give you this land. Later in Genesis 15 and 18, God expands on this unconditional promise to his descendants. Uh, he said, to your descendants, I have given this land. Okay, let's read a little bit more about that. So God had promised to give the descendants of Abraham, amen, this land. It was irrevocable promise. Okay, uh, let's see. Um, let's see. Uh, okay, God promised who he just, uh, he, God, okay, let me see, hold on. In Genesis 12 and 7, God promises Abraham who just arrived in Canaan to your offspring, I will give you the land. Uh, from the river of uh, Egypt as the great river, the river Euphrates. In Genesis 17, a God reiterates the promise of Abraham adding the land gift is irrevocable. So he, in essence, he said, this just belong to you. I'm not going to take this back. You know how some people, you know, uh, can give you something and they can take it back. But God said, this, this, this is going to be, it's promised to y'all. It belongs to y'all. He said, the whole land of Canaan, where you now reside as a foreigner, I will give as everlasting possession to you and your descendants. After you, God later repeats the promise of, of Abraham's son, Isaac, in Genesis 26 through 3rd through 4th verse. And the Abrahamic covenant, then God laid on the extent of the land that would belong to the descendants of Abraham, Okay which is Isaac of Jacob. Okay, now we're talking about Jacob's, I mean, the 12, you know, the 12 tribes now. A territory including all of the Canaan, all of Canaan, stretching from Egypt to modern day Iraq. Several uh, centuries later, when it came time for Israel, Israelites actually uh, to take possession of the promised land, God again spoke as a vast area from the uh, Negev wilderness in the south to Lebanon mountains in the north from the Euphrates River and the east to the Mediterranean Sea and the west, including all the lands of the Hittites. That's Joshua 1 and 4. The promises of the land belong to the children of Israel and it was permanent. That's who it belonged to. Amen. It specifically bought, belonged to, amen, the children of Israel, right? Um, even when Israel was expelled from the land, which has, has happened twice in history, God promised they would return. Even if you have been banished to the most distant land under the heavens from the Lord, your God will gather you and bring you back. He will bring you to the land that belonged to your ancestors and will take possession of it. That was in Deuteronomy, the 30th chapter, 4th to the 5th verse. The, this promise is a part of what is today sometimes called the Palestinian, Palestinian covenant of the, uh, or the land covenant. That's Deuteronomy, you find that in Deuteronomy 29, 1 through 30, in the, in, I mean, uh, first, uh, 29, 1 through 30, and then also the 10th verse, okay? Um, 29 and 1, excuse me, and, and 30 and 10, 10, the 10th verse, excuse me. In foretelling the removal of Israel from the land, the Palestinian covenant, the Palestinian covenant anticipate the Babylonian captivity and the Roman destruction of, of Israel, okay? In both cases, the promise of the covenant had held true, okay? The Jews regained their land and the nation in five, 537 BC and again it in uh, and again in uh, in um, 1948 AD, Israel still is still in their land, despite the fact that conquerors Babylon and Rome are long gone. All of this reinforces the promises made to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob that God will establish Israel in their land as His chosen people. That's found in Deuteronomy 29 and 13. The land covenant also contains some special promises to to Israel that many believe will not completely fulfilled until the millennial reign of Christ, okay? According to Genesis 15 and 18 and Joshua uh, 1 and 4, the land God gave to the Israel included everything from the Nile River in uh, Egypt to Lebanon and everything from the Mediterranean Sea to Euphrates River. 
On today's map, the land has staged belongs to Israel, including everything modern day Israel possessed, plus all the territories occupied by Palestinians. Okay, plus some of Egypt, Syria, plus Jordan, plus some of Saudi Arabia and Iraq. Thus, Israel currently possesses only a fraction of the land God has promised. The rest of the inheritance likely awaits the return of the Messiah, Jesus Christ. So I guess some of them they probably going to get when when uh, when Jesus when Jesus come back. Okay, God has given us His word. Uh, uh, his, God has given His word that the nation of Israel. Okay, um, the nation of Israel. Hold on. Uh, that he's going to break it to pass for them. Okay, so I just kind of want to give you all a little history on that. I kind of read up about the promises because God God promised them that he was going to give it even back to Abraham their forefather that he was going to give them uh, 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 his inheritance the, the inheritance of Abraham amen the um the land amen and here they are and actually in um 20 uh 20 was it 19 20 and 21 they actually received that land amen amen let's go ahead and start reading at the um first verse it says then the heads of the household of the Levites came to Eleazar, excuse me, Eleazar, the priest, and Joshua, the son of Nun, and the heads of the household of the tribes of sons of Israel, and I'm reading the Amplified Bible, they spoke to them as Shiloh in the land of Canaan, saying, the Lord commanded Moses to give us cities to live in, where the pastures lands for our cattle, okay? Um, so this is three. The, so the sons of Israel gave the Levites from their inheritance these 48 cities and the pastures lands in accordance with the command of the Lord. The first lot allotment came out from the families of the Kohites. Kohites. So those Levites were um, who were sons or descendants of Aaron, the priests, received 30, 13 cities by lot from the tribe of Judah and from the tribe of Simeon and from the tribe of Benjamin. The rest of the son of Kohath received 10 cities by lots from the families of the tribe of Ephraim and from the tribe of Dan and from the half tribe of Manasseh. The sons of Gershon received 13 cities and by, by lot from the uh, families of the tribe of Issachar and from the tribe of Asher and from the tribe of Naphtali from the half tribe of Manasseh and Basin. The son of Merah, uh, Merai, According to their families, received 12 cities from the tribe of Reuben, from the tribe of Gad, and from the tribe of Zebulun. The sons of Israel gave lot to the Levite, Levites. These cities were the pastor's lands, as the Lord had commanded through Moses. They gave their cities, which are mentioned here by the name of the tribes of the sons of Judah, and from the tribes of the son of Simeon. And they were for the sons of Aaron, okay, of the families of the Kohites, of the sons of the Levi, because... The, the lot fell in them first. Okay, and I want to tell you, it's just repetitive re, uh, reading. God gave them the promise. Everything that God has spoke, amen, through Moses. Everything that God has spoke through Joshua. Everything that God has spoke through Aaron. Amen. God had brought the promises to pass. Let me see. It says, let me read, just skip down to, let me read 41. All the cities of the Levites in the midst of the property of the sons of Israel were 48 cities where the pastures land. These cities each had it uh, surrounded pasture lands. So it was with all these cities. 43. Amen. So the Lord gave Israel, this is the promise, y'all, all the land which he had sworn to give their fathers, which are the ancestors. And they took possessions of it and lived in it. So I want to tell, I just want you to encourage you on tonight that if he don't, if you don't get it, amen, just know that your children are going to get it. And if your children are going to get it, amen, that your children's children are going to get it. Because anytime that God, amen, promised to give a thing to you, just know that it's going to come to pass. But, you know, I want to encourage you today that it requires our obedience. Amen. Moses, God, God was using Moses to tell these promises to, to the children of Israel. But guess what? He didn't even make it in because he walked in disobedience. Instead of him uh, speaking to the water, he smoked, he smoked the rock, the rock, excuse me, and, uh, and, and water came out. 
Amen. He was disobedient. God, he, he did it. God still worked the miracle, but God gave him specific directions as to what instructions as to how to get the miracle to come to pass. When God tell us something, he said, if you be willing and obedient, you shall eat the good of the land. Quit thinking you're going to eat the good of the land until you start walking in obedience. And then if you really want the, want the, want the, uh, uh, the uh the blessing amen then you will do whatever it takes amen glory to god to amen walk in a place of obedience amen because you a lot of times what happens is we live beneath our privileges because we don't walk in obedience total obedience to whatever the instructions was that god speaks to us amen yield results amen when god told them amen glory to god to uh to um um to marry him, amen, to praise God, or, I mean, not, not marry him, excuse me, amen, when God told uh, 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 Moses, amen, glory to God, amen, he gave him instruction to move forward, amen, and they were going to go across on, on to, 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 to hold out the rod, and he did exactly how God had intended for him to do, guess what, the waters, amen, get, begin to divide, amen, glory to God, and they were able to walk across on dry I'm on dry ground. Amen. And we have discussed that before. I can I know that that was a whole big old miracle. And I could imagine them walking across in those high waters. Amen. Glory to God. How they divided and how they walked around, walked on dry ground. Nothing was muddy. Amen. Glory to God. Don't you just imagine when you go into, check this out, y'all. This is what God is showing me now. You know, like as you get deeper into um, the sea. Or whatever, or to an ocean, you know. As you go step out, it gets deeper. Amen. But this land was this land was level. Amen. Glory to God that they were able to go. Amen. Glory to God across, and they was go, able to go across, and none of their feet got it got muddy. Amen. But they were able to walk across, and God held that water up there long enough to the last. Amen. Your child of Israel. Amen. Glory to God had a uh, uh, touch that ground. I want to encourage you all on today. When we walk in total obedience, hallelujah, glory to God, that's when the promises of God, amen, we're going to be, um, come up on us, amen, don't get me wrong, he know from time to time that you will make mistakes, amen, but I'm telling you, I encourage you in the name of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. As the Spirit of God has been dealing with me heavily, y'all. Amen. He's on his way back and he's coming back for our people that are ready, our people that are obedient, our people that's going to obey him. Amen. In totality, totality, not impartial obedience. Amen. But full obedience. Amen. Glory to God. Those people are going to receive the promise, which is heaven. Amen. They're going to have everlasting life or eternal life. Amen. If, amen, amen, we obey and accept Christ into our life, not part partially not in some things but in all amen and don't you and it's obtainable amen glory to god god jesus came here amen glory to god to show us that this type of life amen glory to god is obtainable amen glory to god and god the spirit of god was dealing with me with psalms 91 on, uh on this week I, I i love him so much and the spirit of god began to deal with me about psalms 91 and the first verse of psalm 91 and one says he that dwelleth in the secret place of the most high shall abide under the shadows of the almighty and i want to tell you amen glory to god we want to abide under the shadow of the almighty amen in essence you're walking in his presence amen if you are a walking in something somebody's shadow that means you're close by them amen he he said in that place is a place of protection and my place amen when you're close to god when you whisper prayers amen glory to god amen he can hear you and you can hear him amen because you are close amen and i encourage you on tonight if you're not walking that close with god amen to buckle down amen because in that place in that secret place of the most high god amen that's what lies the promises of the children amen people are getting so many hits amen because we're not dwelling or abiding in that secret place amen it don't mean hit and miss it means to stay in that place and it's going to require 
practice. It's going to require, amen, you working out your soul salvation. Amen. Because I'm going to tell you that the blessings and the promises of the Lord are, amen, glory to God, or obtainable. Amen. But we have to do our part. Amen. Whatever they got contrary, amen, things begin to happen. People got, uh, 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 was killed. Amen. The enemies defeated them. Amen. Because they were, because, amen, they start walking contrary. Let me tell you something. Amen. Two, it's two ways to tell a person. Uh, uh, if it walking, uh, 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 walking is walking in disobedience or obedience. Okay. Now, okay. Now things begin to happen a lot. Amen. When you, amen, walk in disobedience, but do you see how God blessed the children of Israel when they chose, amen, to obey him? Uh, and so it is with our life. Then on the other side, when God's getting ready to elevate us, he has to allow the enemy to buffet us. And a lot of times we get that misconstrued. Long as you know you're doing everything that God has commanded you to do, and you're doing to the best of your ability, and you're asking God, Amen, glory to God, to help you and forgive you and wash you and you know and help you to do the right thing, and you're asking for forgiveness. Let me tell you that the promise of the Lord, Amen, glory to God. No, you may not see them, Amen, glory to God. Wait, I say on the Lord, for they shall surely come to pass, Amen. And God knows when you're ready for the blessing saints of the most high god he know when to give the release amen glory to god but i dare you tonight amen to walk amen glory to god in obedience amen glory to god and surely amen those promises uh, amen will come to you and i remember uh who was that david he wanted to build the house of god amen but dirt david amen glory to god because he couldn't, he couldn't do it because what? He had dirty hands. He had uh, 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 murdered, um, what well, had uh, Bathsheba's husband, first husband, uh, Uriah killed, right? Because he was sleeping with her while while Uriah was with, uh, was out in the battle. Amen. He was he out in war, so he had had uh, uh, Uriah killed. Amen. In order to cover up his sin. Amen. But if you cover up your sin, amen, the Bible said that you will not prosper. The Bible says even to confess our faults to one another. Amen. That we may be healed. Amen. The fervent and factual prayer of a righteous man avail it much. Amen. You can't hide sin. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. And expect to prosper. Amen. Let me tell you something. Get down to business. I know that some of us may be going through different things on this line that we may have struggles amen because we're all growing amen uh gr growing in christ to perfection right amen so there's going to be different challenges in this walk amen but don't you give up because there's victory amen if you just keep if there's victory if you keep on holding on if you don't give up saints of the most high god as you see amen glory to god you just keep on walking amen eventually you're gonna you're gonna uh walk uh, uh right in front of your blessing that's right. I mean, you're going to have a head on collision, I mean, with those promises that God promised you. Now, I don't know it to everybody tonight the things that God has promised you. Amen. You know those things that was promised to you. You know those things that were prophesied to you. You know those things that you've seen in your dreams. Amen. You know when you was in your secret place in prayer that God has spoke over your life. Amen. You know when you had those visions and God spoke some things concerning you. Amen. Glory to God. You'd be like, I've been waiting for 20 years and I still have not seen it yet. Let me tell you, though it tarry amen glory to god wait for it because it's for an appointed time and don't you grow weary as long as you know you're doing the best i can ask god to feed you with the holy ghost if you don't have it amen because it'll keep you from slipping and, and tipping amen glory to god ask god and, and, and take out time and mean business a bit about your spiritual walk and i guarantee you and cry out to him and stay diligent that's the key he said, he that dwelleth in the secret place. Amen. Dwell it, dwell it, dwell means to abide or to stay or to take up habitation. It means to not go nowhere. And a lot of us, we hit and miss. We in and out. Well, I'm in the secret place today. Tomorrow I'm not. Amen. And how do you expect? Amen. Glory to God to make it habitual. Amen. At least try to try 21. The Bible, not the Bible, excuse me. There are statistics that says anything you do for 21 days consistently you'll make it a habit make you set your time of prayer or make sure this every day you're going to pray 
You know what I'm saying? And you keep on doing it consistent. You're building that relationship with God. I'm telling you, the spirit of God has been dealing with me heavy. Listen, come on. We have to um, work out our soul salvation with fear and trembling. Amen. We have to, amen, get another grip in the Holy Ghost. We got to get another, amen, glory to God. Uh, take another stand for Jesus Christ. Amen. We got to come higher, come up from where we at. Amen. Because, amen, that yesterday's anointed ain't going to help us in this Oh, this new fight, he also began to deal with me about the wine skin. Amen. God said I would do a new thing. And God ain't pouring old new wine into old, old skins. The Bible said, unless they burst. Amen. Glory to God. Because we know that new wine is fermenting. Amen. Glory to God. And no old wine skin. Hallelujah. Can't hold. Amen. Glory to God. That new thing. And God wants to do new things in us. And he wants to bring the promises and the prophecies to pass. Amen. Glory to God. But we have to be obedient. God, amen, brought every tribe, all 12 tribes. And he didn't leave out the Levites. Amen. Those that were waiting in the temple, those that were praying and fasting, those that waited at the table. And, you know, he did not, amen, forget about them. Everybody, everybody, amen, had a blessing. I want to tell you that everybody got a blessing with their name on it. Amen. We have to line up our life. Amen. And let me tell you something. I'm telling you this week, it seems like the attack has been on. When you decide that you want to make a stand, saints of God, I just want to encourage you tonight because it's not only you that's going through major warfare. It's been major, major warfare. Amen. That it seems like it's just been coming from different directions. Hey, but don't you grow weary and well doing for you shall reap if you do not give up. Amen. And, and it's an indication to things are getting ready to come to pass. And I want to tell you that the promises, hallelujah, that God said, some things, amen, you can't leave this earth without receiving. Amen. But you have to walk in obedience. Amen. Glory to God in order to get it. Now, if you get out of alignment, amen, when God has you to be on block A, amen, and you all over in C, and as you walk on block A, continue down that straight path, amen, glory to God. On that second corner, amen. Your blessing lies, but you on you instead of you stand on A, you're walking over in B, amen. Glory to God. God had intended you for you to, to walk slab right in the you know, uh, 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 you know, come in contact and have a head or collision with your blessing, amen. But when you walk in contrary, how do you expect to receive when God has a set way? Amen. There's a way the Bible says that's called holiness. Am I straight in a narrow path? Amen. Glory to God. And the, the Bible says on, on that road, it's going to be few because it's going to be a tedious road. Hallelujah. And you have to follow all the directions. Hallelujah. And let me give you an example of that. I want to tell you, just like if you're going to go to a Dallas and you don't know the specific area or the specific church or uh, whatever that you want to go to, you will not be able to get there if you're going to go and get creative and go on your own path. Now, Siri is trying to tell you how to get there. Amen. Or Google's trying to tell you how to get there, but then you want to do what you want to do. Amen. So same thing with God. Amen. You would think, you, you know, when you don't, you go contrary to what God is saying, you spinning your wheels. Amen. And let me tell you something, God promised to you. One thing about it, that promise, whoever decides, whether it's your children or your children's children or your children's children's children, whoever decides they want to walk in obedience to that, that's who is going to receive it. Those promises belong to you. Those promises belong to you. And when we walk on in obedience, saints of the Most High God, we set our children up. We set our grandchildren up. Your obedience is not just about you. My obedience is for my husband. My obedience is for my children. My obedience is for my sisters and brothers. My obedience is for my nieces and nephews. My obedience is for my aunts and uncles and cousins. You got to re remember that you being saved and accepting Jesus. He said, I'll take one or two in the family that the others may be saved. You are a gap standard. You are volunteering when you sign up to love Jesus. It's your job, amen, to win those souls for Christ. And woe unto you if you walk contrary. Amen. You'll never, amen, you're causing a disobedient, uh, a generational curse to fall upon your family. But if you be willing and obedient, the Bible said you should eat the good of the land. And he promised this, you all, amen, to the children of Israel. He promised it, amen, to Abraham and Isaac and Jacob, amen, and to their children. 
amen, to the lineage, to those that accept, amen, Jesus Christ, amen, I want to tell you that we are Sarah's, amen, glory to God, uh, uh, children, we are Abraham's seed, amen, glory to God, and when we choose to walk in obedience, Hallelujah. Those same promises, hallelujah, belongs to you. Hallelujah. Lift up your head on tonight and be encouraged. Amen. Know that the promise of the Lord, amen, is still promises. Listen, because God is God. He can God like that and he be God and like that. Amen. I want to tell you that irrevocable. It don't matter what you do. Amen. Because something, somebody had a good report with God. Amen. Glory to God. They're just going to bless you anyhow. You're just going to be prosperous anyhow. After you suffer a while, God's going to cause you, amen, to prosper. Because it's just meant for you. Some, some of us, it's just meant for us to, pro, to prosper. He said, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and good, be in good health, even as your soul prosper. You know, God is a good, good father. He don't give us nothing that we're not ready for. If you're not mature enough to handle it, God don't give it to you because you'll mess it up. But God knows when you're ready. Walk in a place of obedience. Seek it. Hunger and thirst after righteousness. Hey, let it be your daily bread. Hallelujah. Let it be what you long for. Hallelujah. On the inside, not just on the preach day, not because I'm here ministering the word of God. But I desire, I desire truth in my inward parts. Is there anybody testimony on the day that you desire righteousness? You desire truth? You desire to please God? Hallelujah. That's what it's about, saints of the Most High God. That's what it's about. Let me tell you, the suffering of this present time is not worthy to be compared to the glory that shall be revealed in you. I want to see you in ministries. Those that are tuning in. Amen. God promises, amen, on your life or so. They're yea and amen. That's the scripture. It says the promises of the Lord are yea and amen. Yes, and let it be, or so let it be, or let it be so. Amen. Glory to God. In essence, they're going to be fulfilled. Hallelujah. You can have assurance that it's going to come to pass. Hallelujah. Because it's a promise. And God is not a man. Hallelujah. That he shall not nor the son of man. That he shall repent. God not going to have you out here looking like a fool. But those that wait upon the Lord shall. It's a promise. Uh, renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. He was telling them. Hallelujah. So the Lord God gave Israel all the land. Which he had sworn to give their fathers and ancestors. That's 43. And they took possession of it and lived in it come on they got what god promised them the lord gave them rest come on even after he gave them everything he turned around and gave them rest from conflict on every side come on all the enemies all the warfare he gave them rest according to what everything that he has sworn to the fathers and not one of their enemies stood before them in battle come on he gave them rest from the from the, the uh the battle the war the lord handed over all the enemies to them he gave them rest hallelujah and he gave the enemies over to their hands not one listen to this not one of the good promises oh glory this is some shout right now. If I was at church, I would tell them to give me a tune right now. Amen. Glory to God. Not one. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Eh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Not one of the good promises which the Lord has spoken to the house of Israel failed. All had come to pass. I want to tell you if God spoke it, amen, you can take it to the bank and cash that check because it's surely going to come to pass. Amen. I pray tonight that I said something to encourage you. Amen. We are in the evil day. Amen. Don't be weary and well-doing for you shall reap if you faint not. Don't give up. The race is not given to the swift nor the battle to the strong, but to the one that endure it. Amen. The one that keep on, the one that dwell it, that abide, that stay. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. They, they shall be saved. They shall be blessed. They shall be rescued. Hallelujah. They shall walk in the promises of the Lord. Amen. So I pray tonight that we said something to encourage your heart. I know, like I said, we're in the evil days. I know trials have been intense. I know the warfare has been intense. I know that it has not been easy. Amen. Why? Because I'm in this race with you. Hallelujah. But one thing about it, I want to tell you that God is touched by the feel. Jesus is touched by the feelings of your infirmities. He feels your pain. Cry out to him in that secret place and watch God begin to move on your behalf. 
Amen. At this time, amen. Glory to God. I pray, amen, that I uh that uh that if you have an offering to give, amen, the cash app information is flowing, amen, at the bottom of the screen, amen. It's giving time, amen. Give, amen, so on this word, amen, because it was anointed, not because I'm anointed, because God's word is anointed. And it was anointed word, amen, on tonight to let us know that, amen, the God's promises are yea and amen. God brought to pass everything that he spoke over the children of Israel. And I want to tell you that God's going to bring it to pass over your life. I know you've been waiting for a long time. Don't you get weary, amen. Don't you faint. Don't you give up. But trust in the Lord with all your heart. Amen. Lean not to your own understanding. Acknowledge him and he's going to direct your path. Amen. Glory to God. He's going to give you that next win away. Amen. Glory to God. It's going to come to pass for you on today. Amen. Go ahead and give on tonight. I pray tonight God's blessings of his offering. Dear Heavenly Father, God, as those that are given tonight, bless their seed, Lord God. Bless them exceedingly and abundantly and above all they could ever ask or think tonight. I pray, Father, that you bless them, press down, shake it together. Uh, running, running over, cause men to give unto their bosoms. I pray that you would bless them exceedingly and abundant and above all they could ever ask or think. I pray that you will look on those tonight that don't even have funds. Bless them on the next time, God. Hallelujah. Especially those that have a desire to give. Bless them on the next time that they may be able to give, God. And Father, we thank you and we glorify you, magnify you. In your son Jesus' name we pray. Thank you, Lord. Amen and amen. And we seal this word, amen, and this prayer in the blanket of the blood of Jesus. Listen, I'm encouraged on tonight. Amen. I am encouraged, amen, to walk in obedience that I can receive, amen, the um, the promises of the Lord over my life. Amen. Uh, let me uh, tell y'all the, the, the announcements are as follows. Excuse me. Amen. I begin so excited. Amen. The announcements are as followed. Amen. Tomorrow night at 7.30 p.m. Central Standard Time, it is um, the healing seat. Amen. Everybody heard about the healing seat? I always say, come sit on the seat. Amen. Where you can be healed. Amen. We're going to be on to, uh, tomorrow, and we have some special guests. Amen. That's going to be on uh, with us. So I'm, I'm, ex I'm super excited. Amen. So tune in tomorrow. Amen. Um, on the healing seat. Amen. Amen. And also on Sunday, amen. We have our Sunday service. Amen. Um, no, excuse me. Let me tell you Friday, Friday night, excuse me at seven 30. Amen. We have the wind service. I want to say it's seven 30. Amen. Seven or seven 30. Um, central standard time again. Amen. Uh, <clears throat> our very own, um, overseer, we have the wind service. Amen. Amen. Make sure you tune in because he always dropping those. Amen. Those nuggets. Amen. Fire nuggets. Amen. To help us. Amen. To walk this walk of faith. Amen. So, amen. You'll definitely be blessed if you come and tune in. And so those are not subscribed. I mean, subscribe to our um YouTube page and those that are uh that are uh, on Facebook, amen. Go like our Facebook page, amen, so that you can get the notifications, amen. And like, uh, like, and subscribe also the YouTube so you can get the notifications, amen. Because you just never know what word you're gonna tune into that's gonna bless your soul or not just you to be able to pass it on to somebody else. If you don't need it, trust me, uh, can it up because you may need it later, or if not, you need to maybe give it to somebody else because if you don't, somebody else does, amen. So we thank God, amen. Also on Sunday service, amen. Tune in 11 a.m. Listen, we are very much churching. Amen. We are uh, a, amen, a real life ministry. Amen. And we are doing great things for Christ. Amen. So tune in. Amen. At 11 o'clock. Amen. Central Standard Time. Amen. With our pastor, with our overseer and our apostle. Amen. Come forth in the word of God. I'm telling you, it's truly have been a tremendous blessing to my life. Almost four years now. I mean, I'm locked in. Amen. In Jesus name. So you all be blessed. I thank you all for tuning in. I pray God's choice blessings upon you today. Go and take this word. Amen. Hide the word of God in your heart so that you might not sit against him. God bless you and have a wonderful night. Bye-bye.